What is good everybody on YouTube? It is your boy Forrest Ripperton back at it again with another video. You dig? First of all, before I even start my video, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing to my YouTube channel. I have reached over a thousand. A thousand. Listen, listen, listen to this. A thousand subscribers. Just last month, I was just like, okay, guys, I'm going to get like a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I told my friends that I was like, I'm going to get a 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And they was like, bro, don't underestimate yourself. You're going to get it before the summer is over. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't know if people are really going to like me that much. I don't know if people are going to think like my videos are good enough. And that just shows like what underestimating does. Like we underestimate our abilities a lot. And I know I'm my biggest, biggest enemy when it comes to that because I just feel like I'm never good enough for certain things. Eventually, I saw my subscribers starting to go up. I'm like, okay, it, it's just probably like a glitch or something. I don't know. And then I re finally reached a thousand subscribers and I just, I'm so happy like I really don't, like, I don't think you guys really, like, understand. I can't even, like, I can't even fathom this. I'm so, so, so grateful for that because it just shows that consistency and just not being afraid to do things and just do it because for a while I was like, I don't want to do this YouTube stuff. I don't know if people really like this stuff. But it just shows if you keep sticking to the things that you really want to do and just keep doing it and don't worry about anything you will be able to reach your goals. So I just want to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel and watched my videos frequently and have the notification bell on to know when I drop videos. I just really, 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 really appreciate you all so, 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 so much. Thank you for allowing me to reach that thousand subscribers and the future is bright. And we're going to continue to drop videos and make an impact. It is! So today's video, everybody, I'm going to talk about my dreads. A lot of people like my freeform dread video that I made a while back. So today I wanted to make a, like pros and cons of having freeform dreads because it's some pros, but it's also some cons to having like my hair like this. And yeah, I know a lot of people are very interested. I didn't really want to keep making like hair videos but I realized that I'm just not like I might do a lot of fashion stuff on my video but I just don't want people to categorize me as just the fashion video even though that's like stuff that I really do on a daily basis but this is more of like a lifestyle channel so I want to incorporate just my lifestyle and things that I do in my videos so that's why I'm doing this I want to show you guys the pros and cons of freeform dress and is it really worth it is getting freeform dress worth it or are you just wasting your time because it takes a long time to get your hair to you know what I'm saying get it to where you want it it took a long time for my hair to get like this and it's not even where I want it to be so I'm just making this video to show you guys you know what I'm saying is it worth it or should you just not even worry about it so let's get it to it we're gonna start with the pros okay I'm gonna start with this number one pro right here and the number one pro of having freeform dress is the ladies playing your hair. Fellas, like, come on now. You know having hair, even if it's dreads or just, you know what I'm saying, you got to throw on your head or something. When you have hair, the ladies want to touch your hair, play your hair. They're like, ooh, can I touch your hair? It's so nice. <laughs> they just want to play in your hair. They want to, like, massage your head. And it's just... Like, what What better thing is just ladies wanting to massage your hair, oil your hair up, and stuff like that. Like, come on. Like, uh, come on. They either want to plan your hair or either they want to do your hair. Like, they be like, ooh, can I twist your hair up? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's their way of flirting sometimes, too, fellas. You know what I'm saying? Some girls don't want to go in for the kill. They don't want to completely, like, shoot the half-court shot. You know what I'm saying? They don't want Michael Jordan crossing their up shoot that joint from the three they don't really want to make it obvious so they want to be like mm, uh if you ever need your hair twisted or or something i could do it for you or they'd be like let me twist your hair or can i play with your hair look you know what i'm saying like i'm telling you that's a pro fellas you know what i'm saying come on if you're not like out there getting girls you're not good with 
girls, you don't know how to approach them yourself or something, get you some dreads. Get you some freeform dreads. You know what I'm saying? Get you some freeform dreads. Your life might become a little bit easier. I'm just saying. Now a con. I'm going to go pro con, pro con, pro con. So a con of having freeform dreads is you get a lot of lint in your hair. Lint, fucking dirt, uh, all types of stuff in your hair. And it's really a hassle because like I go to sleep and y'all see like Y'all see like my bed sheets, my covers and stuff. It's like this leopard looking print stuff. And when I go to sleep, all of this stuff ends up being in my hair. And I'm just walking out, and like especially the back of my hair. I can't really see the back of my hair. So if I'm walking out of something, my mother be like, you got all this linen in your hair. You look a mess. I'm just like, bruh, like I can't even see that. Having freeform dreads is just really like a lint attractor. Bugs attractor. I I haven't like I haven't had any incidents of me like pulling a bug out my hair or anything. But I've seen it you know, on like other YouTube videos, people pulling bugs out their hair and stuff like that. And sometimes I see like if I'm walking outside, like the other day I was walking underneath a tree and I look up, I see a spider like hanging. I'm just like, bruh, if that spider drop in my head, I'm probably not even gonna know, and it's gonna nest in my hair or something and make more spider babies and then I'm gonna have a panic attack. I promise you, if I find out a spider or spiders are in my head, I'm gonna have a heart attack and I'll never be able to make YouTube videos ever again because I'm gonna be dead because I'm gonna have a heart attack. I promise you, if it's spiders, bugs, or anything laying eggs in my head, I'm gonna pass out. I'm gonna be deceased. I'm Put them in the coffin. Now the pro with having freeform dreads, unlike having like twisted up dreads and stuff, is you could just wake up and go. Literally with my hairstyle with these freeform dreads, I go to sleep, I don't put anything wrapped on my hair. I've never, like even in the beginning stages, I've never like wrapped my hair up with anything or stuff like that. I literally go to sleep, nothing on my head or anything. I wake up, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes when I wake up, my hair is, like, stuck up like this or something. So, I just go in there. Like, my last video, I told y'all, I put water in my hair, throw some little coconut oil in my head, and I'm good, ready for the day. So, you can just wake up and go. You don't have to worry about, oh, is my uh, new growth too fuzzy, or is it messed up? Oh, I got to put a bandana on my head. I got to put a do-rag over my hair, or something like that. You really could just go to sleep however you want to, wake up. Go. I don't have to worry about if my hair get wet, is it going to mess up my hair? Because you know people out there who have like the regular dreads, if their hair gets wet or get in a pool or something, that's it. Like you just wasted that whole, your, all your money on that hair appointment to get your hair done. You done messed it up. So I really don't have to worry about anything. I can go get in the pool, dry my hair off, and it's still going to be normal. So I don't have to worry about that. So that's definitely a big pro on having freeform dreads. A con to having freeform dreads is it mats up and like forms dreads that you kind of don't want. So when it comes to freeform dreads, if you guys don't know, it's freeforming. So you're just allowing your hair to do whatever it wants to do. You're allowing it to mat up however it wants to. So you're not really in control of how big a dread can get, how like how many dreads are going to be stuck together. Like I have a few dreads. I don't know if you guys can see it. Like I have, like, I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, you see... This is two dreads stuck together, so they call these kangos. So, I like some of them. Like, some of my dreads, I do like this. But, I've had a few where it's like three dreads stuck together, and then it's like a big fat dread. And I've had to, like, pull them apart because I just don't like the way that looks. So, when it comes to free-forming dreads, you might get some dreads that are not appealing or some that you don't really like. So, if you, I mean, if you don't like it, you can not pull it apart. But, some of them is really hard to pull out. You might pull your whole hair out of your head or something but definitely that is a con because you just can't really control what it's doing that's why it's called freeforming because you're just allowing it to do whatever it wants as y'all know these are kind of like manipulated freeform dreads so i've kind of manipulated to a way where i control it a little bit more but some people out there haven't done anything to their hair so they're letting it do whatever so you know like how the weekend's hair is? Like I don't want my hair to, well it was because he doesn't have his hair like that anymore. But how the weekend had like a platypus tail on his head. That can happen when getting free from dress because you're just allowing it to mat up and do whatever it wants. I don't like that. So that's one of the cons. So I'm having to like pull pieces apart that I don't like. Another pro is I feel like this is the most like the best thing about having freeform dreads is you get your own unique style. Not one not one person with freeform dreads hair looks the same. 
And that is the whole point. I love the creativity like of it. Like you can't control really, no matter how much I manipulate it, you might make it look a certain way, but when you get freeform dress, you cannot control how it's gonna look. So you're gonna have your own unique style, your own style. So when you walk out the house, if somebody else walks up to you and has freeform dress, neither one of y'all dress are gonna look the same because it's done its own thing. It grew different. Y'all might have different hair textures, all of that. So it creates an own unique style. And even with my fashion, I love, that's why I love thrifting because, you know what I'm saying, I found a way to incorporate fashion in a hair video. You know what I'm saying? That's just my life. When you go and thrifting, I love that because you get in pieces that you won't see another person wear. You might see one person, maybe, but when you're thrifting, you never know what you're going to find. And it's not like a regular retail store where it's 10 more pieces of that on the rack so another person can go in there and buy it too so when you're thrifting you find pieces and now your style and closet is very unique to you so even with dreads freeform dreads it's your own unique style it looks the way it looks on your head and won't look that way on somebody else so having freeform dreads is definitely a very a good way to have your own unique style and look different from others another con with freeform dreads and it's kind of you can solve this problem but with freeform dreads my hair gets a lot like really dry sometimes like right now my hair is a little bit dry because i haven't like put any water or coconut oil in it but your hair can get really really dry and like I have really dry scalp, so I have like dandruff sometimes, and my hair might flake up and stuff like that. So, having freeform dreads is really prone to getting really dry. Like, it's not just with me. I feel like a lot of people I've seen this problem that your dreads look really dry. You can tell if somebody's hair is really, really dry because it looks like that flaky white and like the color isn't rich. So, you have to like. I understand, like I said, you could wake up and go with your dreads, but you still have to provide some type of maintenance and care to your hair so it doesn't look terrible. You got to make sure you're oiling it, taking care of it so it doesn't look terrible when you're walking out the house because I know a lot of times my hair might look really, 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 really dry, so I have to make sure I'm putting enough amount of oil and stuff in my hair and I try to make sure I look right. So definitely having freeform dreads, it, it needs as much moisture as possible it soaks up a lot of water it needs a lot of lot of lot of moisturized moisturizer that's one big thing when you have freeform dress you need to moisturize your hair because it definitely can get super dry especially with it being hot outside you need to moisturize your hair and i feel like that's with any hair but Definitely with my freeform dreads, I have to make sure that it's moisturized because it can definitely look terrible and mess up your hair. Like your hair will fall out or something like that and I do not want that to happen. So keep your hair moisturized at all times and take care of your hair. Another pro is it adds another like accessory. I'm bringing clothes back into this video again, but having hair adds as an accessory to when you're dressing. I feel like... Me and my friend, we had this conversation, like, people with hair look, like, a lot more swagger than people with short haircuts. Nothing against people with short haircuts or anything, because I've seen some fly people. But when you have hair, like, dreads, braids, anything, your style looks even different. So if you have an outfit on, if two people have an outfit on, one has a haircut, one has, like, dreads, freeform dreads or something, that person with freeform dreads is just going to look more appealing, personally. Because it just adds as an accessory, you know, like if you put chains on or if you put a bag on with an outfit or something like that, it's an accessory. So I feel like it adds more to your outfits and it makes it not look as plain. So having freeform dress definitely adds as an accessory to your clothing when you're wearing outfits. I mean, it's all subjective. Some people may think a person with a short haircut may outfit may look better than a person with hair but i personally feel like it adds as an accessory to your wardrobes and to your outfits and it makes it look even swaggier so yeah and for my last one i feel like a con of having uh freeform dreads is you can't really wear certain hats um back when i had like short hair i used to wear dad caps a lot i can't wear dad hats anymore because my hair is just so oof, like it's out there so if you're a hat person you like wearing hats once you start growing free from dress, that's out of here. You have to wear certain hats. Like, I have trucker hats. Like, like I wear trucker hats like this. This is my own little, like, brand thing that I have. If you guys aren't hip, I can talk to y'all about what this is. But this is my 333 rain hats. And I wear trucker hats because they fit on my hair perfectly. They have that snapback on there. So, you can make it fit 
to any size hair. I mean, eventually if you have like a lot, 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 lot of hair and it's really bushy, you can't really wear hats. But trucker hats definitely fit great on my head. Um, let me see what it looked like. So yeah, as y'all can see, I put the trucker hat on for y'all. And it fits right over my dreads. When I wear my trucker hats, I like to put this side of my dreads down on the side and then tuck this side over. But yeah, you can definitely wear trucker hats with dreads. You just have to make sure your hair like fits perfectly in it and doesn't look weird when you're wearing it. And yeah. So when you got freeform dreads, you can't really wear all types of hats. So if you're a hat person, I'm letting you know right now, uh, you're going to have to probably throw that out the window or you're going to have to search really hard for certain hats. But yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. I hope this was helpful. I try to give y'all a good decent amount of pros and cons to having freeform dreads. I love my dreads at the end of the day. And with any hairstyle or just anything in life, you have pros and cons. It's just about are you able to like deal with the pros and cons or whatever. But yeah, those are the pros and cons. Um, a lot of people want me to make these hair videos. So if y'all want any like topics or anything about a hair, just or about my hair, drop them below any questions or topics you want me to talk about it. But yeah, that's pretty much it with this video. Once again, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to my YouTube channel and making me reach over a thousand subscribers. Um, I just really, 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 really appreciate that, guys. I cannot, like, I cannot ex, I. I, I love it guys. I just really love all my supporters. I really couldn't do this without any of y'all. I just appreciate the people who follow me on here and then go follow me on Instagram. I love you guys so much. Like, I can't thank you guys enough. So yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Um, I'm not really sure what my next video is going to be about if you have any, like I'm saying, I like making videos that you guys like. So it's really helpful if you guys drop like topics below in the comment section and tell me what you guys want to see from me because I really make these videos for you all to help you guys with certain things. I don't just make them just to make them. I want to put helpful tips out there for you all. So let me know what tips you want me to do or like anything. So thank you for watching. It's your boy Forge Riverton and we are out. Yeah.